Hey everyone, my name is Lance, and I work for Galileo, where I create awesome projects that help kids to grow as innovators. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this spinning ride project. Your challenge is to build a ride that can safely seat two of your toys, even when the ride is at maximum speed. Your toys must also be able to see outside of the ride and be able to easily enter and exit. And to do that, you'll need to be reflective by thinking carefully about why the toys might be falling out and what you can do to fix the ride if it breaks down. Okay, let's get started. You'll need some tape and scissors, a sharpened pencil, a ruler or something else to measure with, a cardboard box with at least one side that's shorter than your pencil, about two feet of string, a paint stirring stick or some other flat piece of wood like a ruler, two quarters, index cards, or some thin cardboard like from a cereal box, two small toys that are about the same size and most importantly about the same weight. The first step is to cut open a flap so that you can see inside the box when the lid is closed. Or if you're using a box like this, just leave one side open for now. So first you're going to take your sharpened pencil and poke a hole into one side of the box, making sure that the pencil will end up lining up with the short side of the box, like this. Push the pencil all the way down, and while making sure that it's straight up and down, move it around a little bit so it makes a small mark on the inside bottom of the box. And use the closed scissor blade to slightly widen that hole. That will make the pencil spin more easily later. Next we need to build the pencil support. Take an index card and fold it in half, or cut out a strip of thin cardboard. In either case, put the piece over the hole that's in the box, and then use your sharpened pencil to poke a hole through this piece, just like before. And, just like before, use a closed scissor blade to widen that hole slightly. Next, put a piece of tape on both sides of this piece, bend it into an arch, and then tape it so that the hole in this piece lines up with that pencil marking that's on the bottom of your box. Test it out, and make sure that the holes line up. I'm noticing that this is not quite straight. Okay, that looks pretty good. Use your pencil one more time to poke a hole into the side of the box. And just like before, widen that hole with a pair of scissors. Put the string through that hole and pull it through. Put the pencil back, and put a piece of tape onto the end of that string, then wrap the tape around the pencil. And tape a bit of cardboard or paper or something so that the string doesn't get pulled inside of that hole. Now if we spin the pencil, it winds the string around it, so that when we pull on the string, the pencil spins. Okay, we can close this up for now. Next, we're gonna make the spinning platform. The spinning platform is gonna be made out of this paint stirring stick and getting it to be balanced with an equal amount of weight on each side of the spinning pencil is key to getting the ride to spin fast. So use your ruler to measure the paint stirring stick and find the center point. In this example, the paint stirring stick is 12 inches long, so the center is going to be at the six inch mark. Now we're going to attach the paint stirring stick onto the pencil. To do that, you'll first need to fold an index card in half twice. Or like before, just cut out a thin strip of cardboard. In either case, bend this piece in half, like this. Then tightly tape one half of that piece onto the pencil so that the fold lines up with the top of the eraser. Repeat one more time. Now take your paint stirring stick and line it up so that the center mark that you made is just above the pencil. And attach that onto these folded paper pieces with more tape. And finally, tape a quarter onto each end of the paint stirring stick. This added bit of weight is going to generate more momentum, which will help the spinning platform continue spinning even after you've finished pulling on the string. Okay. Time to test it out. 
Use one hand to very gently keep this string a little bit tight so that it winds around the pencil neatly. Then with your other hand, spin the pencil so that the string gets wound around it. Once it's wound up all the way, use one hand to hold the box down and your other hand to pull on the string. Start slow and then speed up. All right, that works pretty well. If your spinning riot didn't work the first time, make sure that the pencil is straight up and down, that the holes in the box and the pencil holder are widened with a closed scissor blade, and most importantly, make sure that the spinning platform is perfectly balanced. Okay, so that's how to build the basic spinning mechanism, but you still need to build seats for your toys. So I'll show you some ideas that you can get started with, but since every toy is differently shaped and sized, you'll need to come up with your own solution. So the first idea is to just build something so that the toy doesn't fall off right away. For example, you could make a seat out of a paper circle. Just remember that your toy needs to be able to see out of the ride. So don't build something that completely encloses your little rider. And before you test, whatever you build on one side, make sure that you repeat it on the other side in order to keep the ride balanced. Okay, let's test it out. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't know if you could see that, it was going pretty fast, but the little blue egg rider flew out. And if this happens to you, remember to be reflective by thinking carefully about why the toys could have flown out and what you can redesign to make sure that they stay safely seated inside. So I noticed that this guy flew out only when the ride got pretty fast, which means that these seats are kind of working, but I'm guessing that the toy is sort of flying out of the edge like this when it gets a little too fast. So in addition to building some kind of seat, you can also build a restraint or seat belt or something that goes over the top and keeps your rider inside. Just remember that your rider must be able to exit and enter the ride easily. Okay, I'll try the same thing on this side too. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> wow, well, quite a few things happened there. I'm being reflective and I noticed that this whole seat broke off. So to fix that, I'm going to tape this on better next time. Also, I was pulling a little bit too hard and my pencil actually broke out of the pencil holder. So I'm gonna fix that with several layers of tape and double up the thickness of the pencil holder with another index card. I could keep testing and redesigning my ride, but now it's your turn. Go ahead and create your own exciting spinning ride for your toys that can safely keep them seated inside. And remember to be reflective by thinking carefully about why the toys are flying out and what you can do to fix the ride if it breaks down. Finally, if you created your own spinning ride, I would love to see it, so please share. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Do you think it's safe? I mean, it's made out of tape and cardboard. What do you think? You're right. Let's go. Whoa.